everyone, Annette here from Ask Me Decor. Welcome back. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. Well, I am still getting ready for spring in the house. And today's video is all about what I'm gonna do to my entryway. So we're gonna need to check out Pinterest really quick. Let's hop on there. I wanna show you what I'm thinking for the front door. This is going to be not a wreath, but a cute little arrangement that goes perfectly for the spring season. And I think it's very easy to make, not expensive. So let's hop on Pinterest and let me show you what I'm thinking. Pinterest is the perfect place to get some ideas for what you want to do decoratively for things like your front door. So that's what I did. I went on Pinterest and I found this great looking arrangement that is really inexpensive and easy to make. So we're going to get started on that. In addition to the arrangement for the front door, I want to show you my entryway. You know, walking into the house is the way you show your guests that you've gotten ready for the season. It's where you want to make the most impact, the best impression. You want your house to feel very welcoming in the entryway. So I can't wait to show you what I did. By now you've figured out what I'm planning on making. I'm going to take this old umbrella and turn it into a floral arrangement for my front door. We're going to use some spray paint to make the umbrella the color that I want it. I have a whole bunch of florals here, mostly white tulips. I love white tulips. And I do have some painter's tape here. I'm going to cover all the black parts of the umbrella with painter's tape so that I don't get any paint on them. And then I'm planning on finishing off the entire arrangement with this really pretty green and white plaid ribbon. It is wired, so it'll make a great bow for the front of this umbrella. This umbrella has some very nice black accents on it. The handle, the tip of it, all really nice black with a tiny little bit of brass on the tip. And I got this umbrella at an antique store for $10. I think it was a pretty good bargain. Some people might think that I should leave it the color it is, but I'm more interested in it matching my ribbon and my florals, so I am going to paint it. So that's why I need to put this painter's tape on all the black parts. I don't want to get any of the paint on the finished black handle or any of the other parts. Okay, so I'm ready to start spray painting. I bought one can of spray paint and that was just enough to cover the entire surface with about two coats of paint total. Some people might think I'm ruining this umbrella, but it's okay. It is not a very valuable umbrella and I'm really more happy with it in the color that I chose. It'll look way better on my front door, which is red. So I have to be careful what I put on the front door or it kind of gets lost in the red color. This white color with a lot of the spring green colors of the florals will stand out way nicer. I let the umbrella dry overnight and now I'm ready to take all the painter's tape off of the black parts and get working on my florals. I really can't wait to put this together and see how it comes out. I did have some floral foam ready to use just in case I was going to need that and I also had some plastic bags ready just in case I was going to need to kind of stuff that umbrella with them. But guess what? I didn't need anything. The florals fit in there perfectly. 
It looked full. There was no need to stuff anything else inside there. Once I got the fabric laying just the way I wanted it to, it was time to start working on the florals. Now, I'm going to use a couple branches of leaves. I have two bunches of white tulips, and then I have a spray of these tiny little spring flowers, and then I have some branches of pussy willows. All of that is going to fit into this wreath so nicely. Wait till you see it. I hold it up and stand back a little bit to check out how it's spreading out on the top of the umbrella and I'm liking the way it looks. So the next thing I need to do is make my bow. First I'm going to take a long length of ribbon and wrap it around the umbrella and tie it in a knot. Then I'm going to make a, a couple loops of ribbon to make a bow and I'm going to wire that onto the knot that I just tied. Time to hang it on the front door. Wait till you see how great this looks. to move my milk cans because there's a lot of red going on on my front porch and it's just not looking spring-like to me. So for now, I'm going to remove the red carpet and I'm going to replace it with a green and white woven rug underneath my doormat. That is uh, replicating more of the green color from the umbrella and it's looking a little more like spring. Now granted, 
it is only the middle of March. We still might have a little bit of winter left to go. So I'm not ready to completely do the entire front porch, but this is a great start. come in and see the rest of the entryway, it's very welcoming. My entryway cover got a great spring look with these hurricane glass candle covers. One came from an antique store and the other came from a thrift store. Then I used my grassy bunny and my grassy duck on the cover along with a garland of grassy bunnies covering the mirror. This definitely says spring to me and it continues the same color scheme that I used in the umbrella on the front door. on the inside gets this really pretty wreath that I got a couple years ago at TJ Maxx. And then you're starting to see my steamer trunk area. I put a pottery watering can with a matching little duck and a bird's nest with four singing little birds on it. That was a gift I gave my mom a long time ago for Easter and I was lucky enough to inherit it back from my mom. And above there on the pegs, I have a vintage Easter bonnet hanging, a wicker basket with some matching florals that actually are the same florals I used in the dining room. You'll see that in the next video. If you've watched any of my videos, you know about my dairy can. It came from a dairy farm where they used to make ice cream and they would store it in these huge containers. I was lucky enough to find one at an antique store near me and I love filling it with florals for every season. This time it got the birch logs that I use a lot and I added some hydrangea stems that came from Michael's last year and some stems of pussy willows. Then on the settee, I put this pillow. This is one of my favorite pillows to put on this settee. Easter egg hunt on a long skinny pillow is perfect for this area. The settee also got this really nice spring green throw. It spreads the color of green from all the other areas, the front door, the cover, the steamer trunk area, all have that same spring green color. So the throw ties everything together. That's gonna do it for the spring entryway. I love how this front door project turned out. What a great use for an old umbrella. And the rest of the entryway, very welcoming. I'm really happy with it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just ask me, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.